the recording started. All right. I want to welcome everybody to tonight's training. We are going to have a good time tonight. Just going to talk to you from my heart tonight, and then afterwards we're going to answer a few questions and uh, uh, get everything started and, and, and roll along here. But I'm going to spend about, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes with you, whatever it takes. I just want to share some things with you that's on my heart that uh, I think uh, uh, you may enjoy. Some of you may not. Uh, that's, that's, that's okay, too. And... Uh, I'm just one second but uh, we're gonna get rolling here just a couple quick things to get out of the way uh, first off if you have not joined our YouTube channel join our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash instant app wizard and like us on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash instant app wizard also if you would like to get a text message to remind you about training go to key uh, Text to 727-478-1343. Uh, app call, A-P-P-C-A-L-L, -L, all lowercase. And uh, that's app call, A-P-P-C-A-L-L, -L, all lowercase. So 727-478-1343. Also, if you haven't joined our Facebook group, uh, join our Facebook group at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash instant app wizard. I want to talk to you tonight about building your business and this is just an intimate look from my point of view it may not be your point of view I'm not trying to sway you in any way make you go in any direction that uh, you want to do uh, excuse me did not mean to burp in the microphone uh, this is just my points of view on business and it really my eyes were really opened this week uh, in a powerful way uh, about business and, and uh, directions I should go and how I should go and what I should do. So I want to uh, uh, just share some things with you and talk to you and just open my heart to you if I could. I started work when I was seven years old in my father's restaurant and uh, got a big scar on my thumb from where I cut it deep with an old ashtray. That's when everybody smoked. <laughs> everybody smoked and everybody uh, smoked in restaurants. And uh, you don't see that much anymore. But uh, I was standing on a milk crate washing dishes, cut my thumb, and uh, I've been working ever since. I, I don't think I've ever stopped working. Uh, I started my first sales job when I was 15 years old. Uh, a kind of a, it was called Shackley, a little network marketing thing. And that was my first endeavor into business. It actually made a lot of money and uh, didn't have any problem talking to people, never was scared to say or show anybody what I had. Uh, sold a lot of product, got a lot of people to, uh, to be a part of it, and, and it worked out pretty good. And uh, so uh, I've done a lot of endeavors. I've, I've had construction companies. I've had marketing companies. I've had software companies. I, I've done a lot of things in my life. And uh, what I want to talk to you about tonight is priorities and where your priorities are, and uh, how your priorities are, and, and, and where they are. So I want to talk to you about that and, and share with you from my heart uh, what I feel, what I've done, where I've been, and uh, the direction I'm now headed. So first and foremost, what are your priorities? My priorities are, have not always been this, okay? Uh, family, self friends, finances, and freedom. Now, if you'll notice, finances and money is, is down towards the bottom of the, uh, bottom of the list. And for me, that's always been at the top of the list. Mine's always been finances, uh, family, and self, a lot of times self, and then family. 
uh, friends maybe, <laughs> you know, friends maybe, and uh, uh, everything else to fall in place. And, and you're right, Greg, God's always first in my life, and I, I don't mind saying that at all. Okay, God's always first in my life, and I, I will point that out. So God, family, self, friends, finances, and freedom. You're absolutely right, and I do not mind saying that. So thank you for pointing that out, my friend. But um, so in your business, where do you put yourself? Most of us put ourselves right here. Finances, money, everything is about this right here. Okay? We forget about these things up here. We, we, we totally forget about them. And, and what we do is, is we get so wrapped up in what money can do for us. Well, if we had money, Carrie, uh, our family would be set. If, if we had money, Carrie, boy, think what we could do for ourselves. If we had money, boy, we could sure help our friends out. And just think how much freedom we would have if we had money. And uh, so, so you sit back and you think about that, and, and you lose everything else around you. You, you, you start realizing that, boy, my kids are grown, and uh, I haven't really seen my wife in weeks. And you know what? I, I haven't been to a friend's house or had a friend over for a barbecue in a long time. And so, really, when that happens, you have none of this on the bottom, okay? None of this on the bottom. No freedom at all. You're, you're so wrapped up. And what brought this on? I've got a very good friend. It's a multi, multi-millionaire, okay? Uh, he's probably worth $30, $40 million, and I've spent some time with him the last uh, few weeks. And um, another friend of his is a, is a, is a multi-millionaire that lives in New York. And I looked at the, the difference between these two guys. One guy has his priorities like this, and he does put God first, Greg. And uh, matter of fact, he puts God way first, and, and then everything else falls into place underneath that. But what happens is, is one guy is so wrapped up in all of his money that he doesn't have time for anything else. He works 20 hours a day, never stops, never sees his family, never, I mean, his wife will fly to see him wherever he's at every now and then, and uh, he does what he does. So the other guy has a great life, he is extremely wealthy, and uh, does what he does, but he works about half the time, he works extremely smart, he, he started out with absolutely nothing, and built his business, and he built it slowly, and he built it a little piece at a time, so that he did not forget all the other things that were important to him. The guy that is extremely rich that forgot all the other things is has lost millions over the last few weeks. And I think that a lot of that is because he's forgotten where he came from. And he forgot what was important. So let's just talk about this a little bit. Family, okay? Without our families, we, we, we really don't have anything. Our, our husbands, our wives, our, our children, they are, they are truly our support system and uh, they are so important to everything we do you know your their your 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 spouse is is the one that says hey you know uh, everything looks good thank you for working hard thank you for giving everything you got to your family thank you for for doing all those things and gives you that hug and kiss and has dinner on the table and, and takes you out to eat and, 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 and gets you your birthday presents and, and, and does all those little things. And uh, it, it's, it's, it, it, and we forget about that. Hang on just one second, guys. And, and we forget about that. And a lot of times I do that. 
You know, I my kids live within five minutes of me. Sometimes I can go a week without seeing them. My wife works five minutes from me. Sometimes we just pass in the day. And so I've, I've really been thinking hard uh, about this. And, and so family has got to be important to you. None of the rest of the stuff matters if you push that away. None of the rest of the stuff matters if, if you turn your back on all of those who truly helped get you there. Okay? And so without that, without that, you, you have nothing. You can have all the money in the world and be so broke. You can have all the nice things in the world and truly have nothing. You know, I, I was sitting back looking the other day, and I thought, you know what? If I had everything I owned or everything I owed paid for, I, I could literally live on probably 500 bucks a week. 2,000 bucks a month. <laughs> Do you know how hard you have to work in this business for $2,000 a month? Not hard at all. <laughs> Not hard at all. I mean, you think about it, guys. It, you could go out and just sell a few apps every day. And uh, you, you just, you know, you just don't realize it. Yeah, I do date night every Friday night myself, Chris. I've been doing date night my entire life. But you know what I started doing? Oh, date night? Shortening it? Making it shorter? Sacrificing my family for a few extra bucks? Oh, honey, just give me one minute. I'm going to go build an extra app. <laughs> Honey, honey, I, I, we're, we're going to go out at noon tomorrow instead of 10 o'clock. I know you like to go shopping, but, but, but we're going to go out at noon tomorrow, you know. And so what happens? Well, thank you. I take that as a compliment because I'm a huge George Bush fan because I am from Texas, and I think he was a great president. But we truly believe in our hearts sometimes that if, if, if we could just make an extra dollar, if we could just get to another place in our lives, we could solve everything. So I'm going to tell you tonight that buddy is not everything. Think about this for a minute. For a minute. Think, think about this. Sit down after this conversation that we're having tonight and figure out everything you owe. And if you had all that paid off, and had the buddy that you're, 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 you're taking to pay that off, how much you would really have. But we truly, the more money we have, the more in debt we have, and now we start interfering with our family again because we're so indebted that now we start kind of getting in, into, uh, to, into uh, uh, putting material things before our family. Okay? So it's extremely important, extremely important. Friends, <laughs> you know what? I, I didn't even realize this till just the other day. I haven't sat down with one of my friends in about two years. And, and I'm surrounded by them. I see them all the time. But I, I've not had, <clears throat> I've not said, hey, let's go out to dinner tonight. Or let's do this, or let's do that, or, or whatever we're going to do. I've not stopped to do that. You know why? Because I'm just too busy. You know what a busy person does? does can anybody tell me what a busy person does? I mean, when you get busy, can you tell me what you really do? Can anybody tell me what a busy person does? Get busier, yeah, and usually do absolutely nothing. You see, the busier you are, the less you are to do, okay? The busier you are, that's right, spinning your wheels and go nowhere. That's absolutely right. I, 
I used to cringe when my when my boys used to. I, I used to call them on the phone and say, "Hey, what are you guys doing?" They said, "Oh, we're so busy, Dad. Busy doing what?" Dad, if you if you told me, "Hey, Dad, I just accomplished this and I'm fixing to start this," but busy doing what? What are we busy doing? You know, we're usually busy doing nothing, and so we sacrifice our family and, 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 and we sacrifice our friends, and, and we sacrifice all of these things and push it away, okay, and push it away. Finances. Take, let's take a look at finances for a minute. And I know everybody does their budget and everybody knows where their money is at and, 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 and that whole nine yards. And uh, it, it's just, you know, What is finances? What are your finances? How much do you really need in order to be happy? My wife and I was just laying in bed the other night, and we were talking. And this, this epiphany came over me, and, and we were talking about it. And, and I said, you know what? In my life, I've been a millionaire four times in my life. But you know when I'm the happiest? When everything's flowing smoothly, there's a few thousand dollars in the bank and I can take a vacation. When I know the bills are paid and there's nothing interfering. When everything is going smoothly and I don't have to worry about where the next dollar is coming from. Because you see, the harder you work, the more money you try to make, then you start worrying about where the next dollar is coming from. But if you have a plan and you have priorities, everything falls into place. Everything. And the finances will fall into place. I can guarantee it. You know, we never sit down and figure out what we need. But I can tell you what we do. We can sure sit down and figure out what we want, can't we? We, we can sit down and figure out, boy, if I just could do this, I could make this much money. And boy, honey, think where we'd be. Think where our finances would be. Boy, we'd be debt free. No, you ain't. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you. The more money you make, the more money you're going to spend, the bigger toys you're going to have. And I'm telling you, if you just let it go, and set your priorities and know where you're going and know where you've been and know what you need instead of what you want, guess what? It only gets better. It only gets better. And then you got this word right here. And this is what my wife and I were talking about, freedom. <laughs> you know, we live in the greatest country in the world. Thank you, Kenny. Kenny says, man, the timing for this is perfect. He and his wife were just talking about this today. So, Kenny, this is probably for you, brother, because this, this has been put up. This was put on my heart night before last. Isn't it nice to be able to take a small trip? You don't have to, it doesn't have to be big. You don't got to go to Europe. How about just taking your family to the beach? You don't have to travel thousands of miles. There's a beach close. You know? Hey, Juan, how you doing, my friend? You don't have to, you don't have to do nothing fancy. You know, my wife said the other night, it, it, we used to do this. I'm a huge Texas Rangers fan. I love going to the Rangers game. And she said, you know what? We haven't been to a Rangers game in over a year. I live 45 minutes from the stadium. 45 minutes. For about 50 bucks, I can sit right behind home plate during any game. So how much freedom do I really have? How, about, how, how, how free am I to do what I want to do? How free are you to do what you want to do? How many of you did exactly what you wanted to do today? And be honest with yourselves. You don't have to say yes or no or whatever and all that stuff. You know? 
How many of you did exactly what you wanted to do and got everything accomplished that you wanted to get done? You know? Kenny said, I did. I mowed four acres. You know? If you did, that's awesome. But I can tell you, I can almost bet you, the majority on here did not. Why? Because we were busy. We, we were wrapped up in trying to make an extra dollar. We were, we were wrapped up in trying to, to, to do something we, were, we didn't need to do. Uh, we just had to build one more app. We had to tweak one more thing. And, and the app we're building, and nobody even paid us money for. You know, We're too busy trying to, to, to tweak a video. Just, th just 30 more minutes, honey. I'll be right there. 30 more minutes, baby. I'll be right there. Call John and tell him we're not going to be able to make it tonight. I, I need about 30 more minutes. And that 30 minutes turns into an hour, and that hour into two hours, and that two hours into six hours. Next thing you know, it's midnight, 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning. Your wife's already been to bed for about five hours, or your husband's already been to bed for about five hours. You haven't seen your kids in three days. But boy, I was sure busy. I, I was busy doing every single thing I needed to do. Let me ask you a question, Kenny, and, I, and you do live in a beautiful place, by the way. Can I read what you just put up there? Do you mind? I won't read that out loud unless you tell me to. I can. Okay. Kenny says this question. I was just telling Sally today that I have to get out of the mode that I need to be doing something towards making money. Can't relax. I just told her today that I need to concentrate on getting rid of what few bills we have so I can relax and have fun making money. Not because I have to. Time to relax and enjoy Sally and the beautiful place I live. And we've all seen where Kenny lives. It is beautiful. It's absolutely awesome. You know? And he's exactly right. Instead of figuring out what we got to do, where we got to go, what our priorities are, where we what put a pin on a map and say we're here, let's go here. You know, I owe three hundred dollars on this bill, I own six hundred dollars on this bill, I own a thousand dollars on this bill. Uh, let me take care of this one, then I'll take care of this one, then I'll take care of this one, then I'll take care of this one. Now I don't owe anything. Now you know what? All the money I make, I can use for me and Sally. All the money I, I make, I can use for me and my family. All this money I make, I can make use for me and my friends. You know? Everything. And guess what? Guess what? Next thing you know, all these things start dissipating. And all the things you work so hard for, and I don't want anybody to think I'm having family problems. I just, this just, me and my wife were just talking about this, just like uh, Kenny and his wife were just talking about this. All these things that you work so hard for, go away. They're done. You, you, you can have all the money in the world, but if you don't have the other things surrounding you, this right here means nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I can tell you, if you don't have this up here, you'll never have this down here. Never. So, so, so I, I want you to know. I want you to know. And this is from my heart. Some of you may sit there right now and you say, you know what, this doesn't apply to me. What Carrie say that? Shoot, that's not me. What he says has absolutely nothing to do, do with me. But this is what I want you to do. And if we don't have any questions, we can cut this short tonight. Because this is, this is what I have for you. I want you to go look in the mirror. And I want you to truly look at yourself and say, where are my priorities? What have I done today to take care 
of that bill I want to take care of so that I can create the freedom that I want for myself. You think about this for a bit, just a bit, okay? And I don't have any notes in front of me. I'm just freelancing as I go. But think about this for a minute. You have $4,000 worth of bills a month. You make $6,000, so you got $2,000 worth of expendable income, and you're living pretty comfortable. How comfortable would you live if you took care of that $4,000 worth of bills a month, and now you got $6,000 of expendable income? How awesome would that be? I mean, if you're kind of doing what you want to do now, a little bit of restriction, okay, because you can't do a lot on $2,000 a month except watch television, go out to eat once a, once a week, and uh, a vacation maybe every six months. What could you do with $6,000 worth of expendable income? You could do a lot of things. You just got a $6,000 a month raise. Think how much you could do. And that needs to be one of your priorities, just like Kenny said. You know, let's start paying off a few bills. Every time you pay off a bill, if it's a $200 a month bill, you, you, you just got to raise. Okay? You, 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 you just got to raise. All right? What a great thing to do for yourself. You know, we work hard to... We, 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 we work hard to buy stuff, and we work hard to make more money so we can have more money, but we don't work smart so that we can have more money. Think how easy it would be to give yourself a raise. So simple. But you know what keeps us from it? That right there. And finance, when I say finances, I'm talking about all debt, all monies all income, all outgo. I'm talking about the entire thing. That's what stops everything. The American dollar. The old eagle. Every time you turn around. So I want everybody to stop tonight. I want you to stop thinking about the apps you're going to build when you get off of here. I want you to stop thinking about what you're going to sell tomorrow. I don't want you to think about where you're going to be Friday, okay, or what you got to do. I want you to simply stop tonight. Every single thing you're doing, whether you sit down with your children or your wife or your husband or you sit down together and say, you know what, I want to set our priorities. I want us to put our priorities in order because I, and I look at myself. Matter of fact, I'm looking at myself right now in this big, beautiful picture of, of this uh, fisherman fly fishing, okay, in a beautiful river, and I can see my reflection in the glass. I'm looking at myself right now, and I can say, I need to do that. Not somebody else. We always say it's somebody else. Somebody else needs to do that. If 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 my wife would just take five more minutes a day. No, it's we gotta look at ourselves. We are business owners. Everybody on here is a business owner. Everybody on here is, is important. Everybody on here has a goal. All of you are entrepreneurs. All of you have a drive that most people don't have, or you would not be here every single Wednesday night. You have something that's special that's bottled up that's got to be released every single day and you take the cap off that bottle and it starts running and it starts consuming us and it starts taking over our, our, our thoughts and everything we do and we forget about what's really important so tonight I ask you just simply do this when we get off this call, take five minutes and evaluate in your own mind what I said. Every one of you may be fine on here. Every one of you may be absolutely perfect. And if, if, if all of you are that's on here and we're full up tonight, if everybody on here doesn't have this issue, then good on you. 
but I know some of you do because some of you have said right here is this scroll scrolls in front of me. Carrie, thanks. I needed this. Thank you, Carrie. I need to look at this. Wow. Just came across. <laughs> I read these as they're, pop as they're popping up. Wow. You know, it's what we got to do. It's what we've got to do. So this portion of the training is done. I wanted to speak to you from my heart tonight. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. I, I, you know, it, it's funny. I think about this often, but I never implement it in my own life. I've, I've spoken personally to hundreds of thousands of people about these very things. But you know what happens? I get so busy, I forget to look in this window that I'm looking in right now that's reflecting back on me as these waves glisten back in my face. I, I forget to say, you know what? <laughs> You need to take a look at yourself. You got to take a look at yourself. It's easy to blame everybody else. You know, very easy. But when you can look in that mirror and say, "Ah, have to fix this." I see where the problem lies. Then it's time for I to do it. That's my 30 minutes of fame. <laughs> 32 minutes of fame. Okay? That's for my heart. And I want to share this with you tonight because I know that for two years I've been wrapped up in this in a big way. And I forget. Thank, thank everybody that's got the beautiful comments coming across. Thank you so much. Thank you. Because I, I hope I did touch your heart. <laughs> I hope I did trigger something in your mind. I hope I did. I hope I did stir your emotions tonight. For what reason? So you don't get to a place or you don't hit a wall and you say it's too late. Because that's what will happen. I've watched my I've watched it happen to my friend this this past two weeks. He never has enough money. And he's worth millions. He flies in private jets everywhere he goes. Does 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 things that most of us only dream of. But you know what he doesn't have? He's not happy. And without happiness, <laughs> if you're not happy doing what you're doing, I'm telling you right now, you need to find, I don't care if you've been working at a job for 30 years. If you're not stinking happy what you're doing, then you need to quit doing it tomorrow. I hired a salesman in Alaska. <laughs> Who would have ever thought I had hired a salesman in Alaska? I hired a salesman in Alaska. And she started t selling business cards. Electronic business cards, digital business cards, whatever you guys call them. Okay. She went out one day and she sold one. And she walked into her job the next day and quit. <laughs> it blew me away. I thought, whew, that's a powerful move. But you know what she said? She said, you know what? I hate waking up every morning and going to that job. And I just allowed myself. To break that bond, to break that, to, to break that hold, and she did it. You know what? I can only wish I was that bold and that strong in my life to where, <laughs> when I wanted to stop something, I stopped it and didn't have to worry about it. Yeah, you know, that's that's faith. Faith, believing in something that is unseen, is faith. Believing and knowing that it will happen and you never see it is faith. And that's what you have to do. 
Yeah, she's doing great. She's doing great. Matter of fact, she just hooked up with a chamber of commerce and sold a ton of them. And she's doing great. Why? Because she believed. So tonight, when we get off this call, I want everybody to, matter of fact, clear your mind. We're not even going to take questions tonight on mobile apps. How about that? Because if I start taking questions on mobile apps, what are we going to get off the call and do? We're going to start thinking about what Carrie said about mobile apps. So let, let's t let tonight be about us. Okay? That's okay, buddy. Let, let tonight be about us. Let, let tonight be about you. Get off of this call and go give your kids a hug. Pick up the phone and call somebody that you hadn't talked to in about a year. Go, go, in, and go in and give your husband or your wife a kiss. Go next door and tell the neighbor, hey, you know what? I hadn't seen you in a long time. I know it's 10 o'clock at night, but I just want to stop in and let you know that I hope you're doing okay. Stop everything you're doing right now and go tell somebody you love them. Stop everything you're doing right now and go tell somebody that you care about them. Stop everything you're doing right now and look in that mirror and say, what are my priorities? Where am I going? What am I doing? Where do I want to be? <laughs> Kenny said his wife just came and gave him a big old kiss. I'm in a hotel room, so my wife can't give me a big old kiss. But I can tell you this, I ain't going to be in a hotel room tomorrow. <laughs> you know? Thank you, Philip. Thank you. So with that said, I want to tell everybody good night. I don't want to even, I don't want to even talk about mobile apps. I don't, want you to, I don't want to think about a mobile app right now. I want to think about you. And you, uh, the, 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 the folks from California, uh, all the way to Maine, to, 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 to Portland, Oregon, all the way down to Florida, and to everybody in between, or folks that are on here that are in Australia, and, and those who are up early in the morning in, in, over in Europe. This is for you. So I want to thank you. God bless you. Good night. I'll see you in the Facebook group. And I'll see you next Wednesday night where we, we pick up mobile apps. Everyone have a great evening. Good night, Terry. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much for the kind words. Thank you so much. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Kitty. Hey, buddy. Uh, you know what? If I my, my, my mission, in, I've always said if I can touch one person's life, huh, then, then then my life was worthwhile. So I, I I hope this helped you, buddy. I'm glad this I'm glad this was good timing for you. Awesome. That's great. Now you and Sally go get a sandwich. <laughs> you tell Sally I love her. All right. You tell Sally I love her. Great, Terry. Thank you. I love this business, too. But you know what I love more than this business? I love each and every one of you with all my heart. <laughs> Tell Sally I said thank you. I'm going to come visit you, Kenny. I've seen where you live. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. God bless. Good night. Everybody have a great evening. And go, go give somebody a hug and a kiss, would you? <laughs>